I'm back. family it's your boy hey for real back at it again with another video y'all know how we coming bruh uh i went ahead and hopefully y'all enjoyed the the van's restoration the little cleanup i know people really be curious on how to clean that white canvas material and i really hope y'all enjoyed that video honestly i hope you guys went ahead and enjoyed the intro too my boy camo idc went ahead and edited that up for me and honestly i think it's fire bro if y'all like it let me know i'm gonna go ahead and link his channel down below he made his he made mine and his own intro which i think his intro is fire too his content is hilarious he's like a vlogger comedian type stuff it's honestly the funniest thing i've seen in my life trust me i'm in some of his videos if y'all want to go see that that point of view of my life but you know y'all go ahead and go do that show him some love but besides that let me know if y'all like this setup at least for the intro to the video because, you know, I'm not going to lie, I think I like it. I think the lighting is better in here. It's really just the next room over. So, I might just start filming it. I like the little background. I'm probably going to put other stuff in here. It's really, I got my beat fives, my beaters, I got my Oreo. You know, got a custom, another custom. The diploma, you know, how to do it to them. Just high school though, high school though. We're working on a college, we're working on a college. But yeah, let me tell you guys what this video is about today. Today we got another restoration for you guys. Trust me, a different type of video will be coming soon. I promise, I promise. But let's go ahead and let me tell y'all what we got. Got these ones right here. And I don't know if you guys can tell or not. These are beat. These things are beat, bro. These are my boy Tim's, bro. I'm gonna be going ahead and restoring these. Y'all know, obviously, using Reshubinator to clean these guys up. Using Angelus Direct to touch up the paint, because y'all know this is just atrocious. Y'all know how we don't. Shoes come in looking like this, they go, they leave looking brand new. Or almost brand new. Maybe like, maybe like you're talking about a garage sale. You're like, hey, these are in bad condition. Go ahead and buy them. You know, that's not bad. But yeah. Anyways, besides that, y'all know how we're doing this, bro. We're going to be using Reshubinator, Angelus Direct. Those links are going to be down if y'all want to go check out their products. So, you know, let's go ahead and get to it. Enough talking. All right, guys. As you guys can see, we are over here at the table. We got our shoes. We got a rejuvenator. We got not our shoe trees. I lost them. I really don't know how I lost them, but I lost them. They're gone. Gonna have to order another pair, which will be back. But for now, let's say you don't have rejuvenator shoe trees. You don't have, you know, I'm gonna show y'all something different. What you can do is get some paper towels, get some socks, get some a shirt, get some uh, plastic bags and stuff the shoe in the toe box. Cause that's really what you're gonna need is the sturdiness so you can like plant pressure on the shoe and be able to clean the shoe but yeah but for the most part that's what i'm gonna go ahead and do you already know what we're gonna do we're gonna work on this right shoe first just for the before and after at the end of the video so i'm gonna get this left shoe toss that thing out of here and we're gonna go ahead and stuff this shoe take the laces off and i'll jump back in when that's done and we can go ahead and start the cleaning Alright guys, I went ahead and removed the laces. I stuffed the shoe as you can see. We got our rejuvenator with the solution and the water in here. And now we gotta go with the multi-purpose brush. And we're gonna use a soft, we're gonna use all three brushes. We're gonna use a soft bristle first, then the all-purpose, and then we're gonna go ahead and use the hard bristle on the sole, on the midsole, and probably the bottom. Uh we'll see how it we'll see how it goes for the bottom, but for the most part. We're just going to be paying attention to this midsole and the upper right now because it's extremely dirty. So let's go ahead and get into that. One thing I do want to say, whenever you're doing either suede or uh, 
leather, any material really. When you're using this, the soft bristle brush, that's to be able to lift the dirt. The suds is gonna help lift the dirt up and really get in there and get the stains out and stuff. Obviously, it's not gonna work. It's gonna do a little bit for these little, uh, the light stains, the really light stains. But then when you got the harder stains in there, that's when the uh, all-purpose and the hard bristle come in. Because depending on the material of the shoe, you will need to go harder on it. And it's always good to go in uh, fast circular motions around the whole shoe, let the suds sit on there for a bit, wipe them off, and then get back to it with the next uh, bristle brush. If you feel like you can do it all with the soft bristle, which honestly, uh, it depends on how dirty the shoe is. You can go ahead and do that, let the suds on there, but make sure you let, let the suds on there for a good minute or two. And then yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and go with this all purpose, then we're gonna do the hard and I'll cut back in after I get all that done, okay? So let's do it. All right guys, I'm on the hard bristle now as I showed you guys, but one thing I wanted to cut in here and say is, when you're using the hard bristle brush, it's a hard bristle. It's for the rubber part of the shoe, so really don't be afraid to get in there, use some elbow grease, really put pressure on it, and you will, and I promise you that will, the more pressure you add, the more effective the hard bristle brush will be. Obviously, just scrubbing it normal will show some results, but depending on how deep the stains are, you're really gonna have to get in there. Don't be afraid, it's rubber, it's a rubber part of the shoe. It's the most durable part of the shoe. It will not mess it up. So I really recommend y'all just really get in there and just scrub the mess out of it, scrub the life out of it, and just really get in there and just don't be afraid to do it, all right? So I'll cut back in when I'm done cleaning the shoe. All right, guys, as you can see, the shoe is a lot cleaner now. The shoe just looks way better even with just the clean. Uh, as you can see, the midsole is white, it's like actually white. There is some, still a little bit of dirt stains, but honestly, it's way better. It is way better than it was originally in the original B-roll. The upper is black and gold. It looks good, it looks great. Even some of the creases came off right there. Just a little bit though, just a little bit. Nothing too crazy. All right, but now it's time for the fun part. We're gonna go ahead and use some nail polish remover or Angelus Deglazer if y'all have that. We're gonna go ahead and get some cotton balls also and use that to prep the leather of the shoe. Really what we're just gonna be painting is probably this little lace cap, the front toe box, and then the other side of the lace cap. We might not even do the lace caps on this one. Yeah, maybe this right one right here because it is kind of bad. We're gonna go ahead and get some Angelus flat black paint with an angular brush. And we're gonna go ahead and attack that. Uh, I will go ahead and show you guys that process just because I do, I've only really recently been doing a lot of cleaning videos and not enough painting videos. So I will go ahead and show you guys that. So enough talking, let me go ahead and get the shoe ready now. We got our cotton balls and we got our nail polish remover. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is pay attention to these leather parts. Like I said earlier, the toe cap right here and the lace pad right here. We're really gonna get in there. This is one of the most important parts of a restoration, customization, whatever you're gonna do. You really gotta make sure you prepare that well. We're gonna go ahead and try to get this. You'll know you prepared it well enough when the leather feels kind of sticky and like matte kind of, because then you'll know the factory finish that was originally on the shoe has completely came off. This probably should take you a good five minutes, honestly, because you really wanna make sure you go and do everything. What you can do is go ahead and tape up the areas that you don't want to prepare. Uh, I've done this a lot of times. I'm not really too worried about getting this and the other stuff covered up, so I'm not going to. I'm gonna go ahead and use the cotton balls, use the acetone, and then get straight to it. I'll show you guys the little beginning part, and then I'll cut to the next part and the next step in the restoration. All right, guys, I went ahead and prepared the shoe. Went ahead, used the cotton balls or acetone, nail polish remover, whatever you wanna call it. Went ahead and used that, and don't know if you can tell, but it is a little more matte than what the other, the other parts of the leather shoe are. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do, it's still matte, it's still like a matte uh, finish kind of on the shoe, so we're not gonna go too crazy on it. We're gonna go ahead and get some of our 
flat black. We're gonna get some of our Angelus Direct flat black. Use an angular brush. And we're gonna go ahead and go to town. We're gonna, it's probably gonna, it's black, so black doesn't ever always need that many coats, depending on what you are trying to cover up. But this is just a restoration, so honestly, it'll probably take a good two to three coats. It's light coats, don't go too crazy with it when you're doing it. You just wanna go a quick back and forth motion. Uh, the first layer, the first coat will always, you'll, you'll see like the brush strokes and stuff, but that's what the second and third layer are. In the second and third coat, that's what they're there for. They're gonna go ahead and cover that up easily. Just make sure you're consistent. Don't, obviously, don't glob a whole bunch of paint on the shoe, on the uh, paintbrush, so then you don't have that much to work on on the shoe. You wanna just do light coats, light coats. Uh, you're, you're obviously gonna wanna let it dry in between coats to the fullest. I have a heat gun, so I'll probably use that, but then again, I probably won't, just for the purpose of this video. I just don't feel like grabbing it out right now. So we're gonna go ahead and just do we're gonna do the coats, give it like a minute to dry in between each coat, and then I'll go ahead and cut back in when we are done with all three, three to four coats maybe. I'll go ahead and show you guys the first coat, me doing that, and then I'll jump up to the third coat, and we'll essentially, for the most part, be done with this restoration. Uh, so let's go ahead and get to it. All right, guys, we went ahead and put uh, three layers on there. It was good enough. Honestly, it probably would have been good with two layers, but we went ahead and did a third layer just to be safe. And now we gotta protect this paint, this painting, and then we gotta go ahead and seal it up. What we're gonna use is our trusty Kralon matte finish. If you have this stuff, I strongly recommend you do it outside. It's a strong scent. It's just like if you're doing spray paint or something, you wanna, you wanna mask up and do it, or you just wanna go ahead and do it outside. I'm gonna go ahead and do it outside, cut back in to when we are done, because really we're done now, we just gotta lace this back up, and then we'll get to it when we're done. So go ahead and spray this a couple times, and then we'll call it a day, let's go. All right guys, as you can see, we are back right here in the room with the backdrop, you know how it is. We are done with this restoration for the most part. Well, halfway, I'm halfway done with it. Y'all are done for it for now, for this video, so let me go ahead and pop these guys out for you guys. This is the left shoe, the one we did not work on. Don't know how good the lighting is showing it off right now, but as y'all can see, it's just tragic, tragic. It looks terrible, but it looks terrible, bro. But, you know, with a little, little bit of the, the magic touch, a little bit of rejuvenator, Angela's Direct, you know, went ahead and got it looking good. I don't know, y'all can go ahead and tell the difference, but you know, I'll go ahead and uh, throw that B-roll on the screen right now but for the most part dude this is honestly a complete a night and day the sole is way better the scuffs and marks are covered up now they just look way better on the shoe the shoe itself is just better now i really hope my friend enjoys it you know i enjoy doing this i love enjoying it. i love this bro i love doing this it's my favorite thing to do but yeah for the most part uh quick run through on what we did we went ahead and used the three kit uh rejuvenator cleaning solution we use that, went ahead and soft brush for all purpose, or you know, in that order. After that, we went ahead and prepared the shoe with some nail polish remover. You can use nail polish remover, acetone, and um, and or Angelus Direct Glazer. I will go ahead and link Angelus and Rejuvenator down in the description, like I always do in every video, as you guys know. So you know, use that. Then I use flat black paint. Because the flat black and the black, they're this is obviously it's the same it's the same color, but the finish on it is different. But regardless of, of the finish, we went ahead and had to spray it down with some Krylon matte finish, which actually seals the paint, keeps it protected, keeps it good from any future scuff, bruises, and stuff. Honestly, it's great. It upholds all the restorations I've ever done. Use it on this one, I use it on this one, and those. They're still good to this day, no scuffs, no nothing. It's great, the paint is on there, it's on there, it's good. But yeah, 
I really hope you guys like this video. Hopefully it's not too long. I don't know, I haven't edited it yet, obviously, or it will be edited by this time. So hopefully it's not too long. And I hope you guys enjoy it. You guys know what to do. Subscribe, hit the like button, comment down what you liked about it, what you didn't like. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I don't know, uh, Sneaker Con is in a couple weeks. I know I said I was supposed to, I did go last year, but you know what, I just do a different video explaining all that situation. But yeah, Sneaker Con, I most likely will do a vlog for that one, and I'll explain to you guys what happened and how it's gonna go. But yeah, it's coming to Atlanta in, on the 19th, so that's like two weeks from now. So we, we, you guys might see a vlog from there, depending on whether I go or not, you know, just depending on how my schedule is. Really hope to go, so hopefully we'll go. And then, yeah, for the most part, that's pretty much it, guys. Just subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know whether you like this video or not, what you guys want to see next, and turn on that notification bell. All right, y'all. Peace.